Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you again from Reading Talents. Good to see you. Let's take a look at today's article. The title of our article is Construction of a Secondary School in Madagascar. So we know that Madagascar is a country in Eastern Africa and secondary school, well primary school is elementary school and secondary school is for older students. Uh, so here construction means they're going to build. So they're going to build a school for older, for older students in the country of Madagascar uh, around Africa. So let's take a look at what our article says today. It says, Madagascar is one of the poorest countries in the world, but now the construction of a secondary school is underway. So they're just going to start. And we know a little bit about Madagascar. We know that there's a lot of animals there. There was a movie about that too, but it's also one of the poorest countries in the world. So let's see who is helping and why. So here it says the builders of the school are a Canadian family from Ottawa, Canada. So who's building this? Not a company, but actually a family and they're from uh, Ottawa, which is in Canada. So it says they are Blake and Catherine Potter and their four children. So it seems like just a regular family, ordinary family. When Blake Potter spent time in Madagascar as a service missionary in 2001, he saw the extreme poverty of the Malagasy people were facing and the serious problems of child trafficking. So when Blake Potter spent time in Madagascar in that country and he was doing some missionary work, missionary work is when people who believe uh, in Christianity or uh, in this case, the Church of Latter-day Saints, they went to the country to kind of help the people living there. Uh, because it's part of their belief and part of their duty. So they wanted to go to another country and become missionaries or help out those people living there. Uh, and when he went there, he saw extreme poverty. Extreme means very, very strong. And poverty means being in a condition or being very poor. So he saw a lot of very poor people uh, amongst the Malagasy people who were living there. And not only were they facing the problem of being very, very poor, there was also a problem of child trafficking. So trafficking is when you take uh, something in and out of a country, usually illegally against the law. And in this case, you can traffic uh, a lot of different things like materials, but also people. And that's against the law and that's something that's very dangerous. So people are taking children out of the country uh, to maybe sell them or for other purposes. And that's something that is uh, very dangerous and very scary that's happening in Africa. And he, his heart was hurting because of that. So he felt like he needed to do something. So it says here, he couldn't forget how dire the situation was when he returned to Canada. So the family decided to help by building a school. So he couldn't forget. So when he went back home after his time of service was over, when he went back to Canada, he couldn't forget how bad the situation was. Dire, the situation, how everything in uh, Madagascar was so bad, right? So he felt very bad for the people there and he wanted to do something about it when he went back to Canada. So he talked to his family and he said they want to build a school there to help out that country. His wife, Catherine Potter, said, as parents of four beautiful children, it is hard to imagine them growing up in those conditions. So as parents, having four children of their own, they're saying that they couldn't think what it would be like to have their children grow up in that country, in that kind of environment, where the country is so poor, the people are so poor, and there's all these crimes going on, especially against children. They hope to raise up to $5,000, to support the school's construction. So when you're raising money, they're trying to gather, or they're trying to collect uh, for a special reason. So they're trying to get help to raise $5,000 uh, to help with the school's construction or building the school because it costs money. In order to raise money, the family is making, up, uh, making lip balms, selling lemonade, and holding garage sales. So lip balms are what you put on your lips so that they stay moist, uh, kind of like a uh, chapstick. A lot of people put that on their lips. Selling lemonade, right? They're making drinks using lemons and holding garage sales. So in America, when they have a garage sale, they open up their garage, usually where the car goes uh, in the house, and they put a lot of things that they don't need anymore from the house. So they sell their old clothes, old toys, and people come by the neighborhood and they buy it for a cheap price. And they're gonna take all that money from these three different things that this family is doing, and they're going to take all that money and use it for building the school in Madagascar. Uh, they are also working with the Madagascar Cooperative Foundation, which works to end poverty in the country. So they're also working with a larger group in the country of Madagascar so that they can end the problem of 
uh, poverty as well as the other crimes that we talked about in today's article. So here we see just a normal family uh, living in Canada. They see a problem, uh, not in their home country, but far away, and they decide, you know what, I think we can do something about it. And they're being very active in trying to uh, do their part in making the world a better place. And they're starting with uh, a school in Madagascar. So it shows that it's something that anybody can do. Uh, and it just took one family to see that this is something that they can do something about it and they decided together that they will. So it's a very um, uplifting, very inspirational uh, kind of story that we get from all the way from Madagascar to Ottawa, Canada. So let's take a look at our comprehension questions for today. So if you look at the picture, this is Blake and uh, Catherine Potter with their children, four children, and they're from Ottawa, Canada. And these are uh, the people who want to help out the children in the country of Madagascar uh, by building them a school. So it says here, who are the builders of the secondary school in Madagascar? We've been talking about it. So it's not a company, it's not some very famous celebrity or movie star or anything like that, but it's just a regular family. And if you remember their names, it was Blake and Catherine Potter along with their four children. So they're all working together as a family, doing different things to try to raise money for the school construction. So in 2001, what did Blake Potter see in Madagascar? So we talked about some of the problems uh, that Mr. Potter saw at uh, Madagascar, in Madagascar. So some of the problems, if you remember, were extreme poverty, right? So the people living there, the Malagasy people, they're facing the serious poverty and also serious problem of child trafficking, where children were being kidnapped and taken to other places. So those are the two things that really bothered him, that really hurt him uh, in his heart, and he wanted to do something about it. Uh, the third question says, what are the family doing to raise money? So there's three things that the family is doing, very common things that most people do, but they're going to take all that money and send it over to Madagascar for the school. So what are the three things that they are doing? They're making something and they're selling some things, and it says here, the family is making lip balms for your lips, chapstick, selling lemonade and holding garage sales. So they're selling many things that they, don't, they think that they don't need anymore uh, and people are buying it and they're taking all that money from the lemonade stands and by selling uh, this chapstick, the lip balm, and by that they're raising money and we said it's about $5,000. So this family is doing everything that they can to try to help out other people in Madagascar. And so here, A, let's fill in the blank. It says Madagascar is one of the poorest countries in the world. But now the blink of a secondary school is underway. So underway means it's getting started. So it's one of the poorest countries. They don't have a lot of these. Um, so they're trying to start a secondary school and they're building it. So another word for building that we learned today, construction, right? So construction means that they're building uh, a school or building something. So in this case, it's a secondary school, school uh, for older students. Uh, usually like junior high or high school. So here B says he couldn't forget how something the situation was when he returned to Canada. So when Blake Potter visited Madagascar for his missionary work and then he went back home, he couldn't forget how bad the situation was. So another word, synonym for bad, how serious, uh, how sad. Uh, so that's the word that we need and it's an adjective and the word is dire, right? So he couldn't forget how dire the situation was in Madagascar when he went back home to Canada. Uh, and the final question for our article today, it says, they hope to raise up to $5,000 to something the school's construction. So we know that school's construction means they're building the school and they want to get up to $5,000 so that they can uh, something for the school's construction. So if you remember back to our article, we talked about it. So they wanted to do something to help, right? The school's construction. So another word for help, a good synonym would be support. So he wanted to do something as a family to support the school's construction because it does cost money. But $5,000, if you compare to uh, countries like America or even Korea, $5,000 to build a school is not a lot. But for a family that's a regular family, they're doing their best so that they can help out people far away like in Madagascar. So uh, just like today's article, I hope that you realize that there's things that you and I can do. Uh, many times it doesn't take that much money. Uh, and if we work together, we can help out people all across the world 
places like Madagascar and other places in Africa and all over the world where people really uh, struggle with extreme poverty or uh, being in a state of uh, being very poor and also serious problems like child trafficking uh, where in countries like Korea we feel very safe but children in Madagascar they have all these different things that are very dangerous and we can do something to help so thank you to the Potter family and hopefully after this article you will think about what you and your family can do to help people all around the world well I hope you enjoyed today's article and I'll see you again next time goodbye everyone